The latest government figure in the spotlight, Jack Doyle, the Prime Minister's Head of Communications. It's alleged he was at the party in Downing Street last December. That is awkward, as he's been in charge of the response to the media firestorm this week. If rules were broken, then disciplinary action will clearly follow. But uh, but I think that's the that's that's the um, thing that the cabinet secretary needs to needs to uh, needs to work through because people have been um, adhering to the rules, and it's really important that we do so for each other. This afternoon, some of those who've lost loved ones to COVID went to Downing Street to deliver party food. Earlier at the COVID memorial wall, I had spoken to Fran Hall. She lost her partner Steve to the disease in October last year and she was heading to Downing Street with this message. We will never be able to party again with the people that we love. That's our message. I think it's despicable. I think it's outrageous it's, and, and it's just... We deserve better from our government and from the people that work for our government. We deserve better. Meanwhile, the questions persist about who paid to do up the Prime Minister's flat over number 11. Boris Johnson said he only became aware that a private donor was paying in February. That's what he told his independent standards adviser, Lord Geit. But the Electoral Commission has WhatsApp messages that show the Prime Minister contacting the donor about money three months before that. Labour want this investigated again. He's not fit for office and um, because he's not fit for office he won't resign. And the question really is for Tory members of the Cabinet, Tory MPs, to ask themselves, are they prepared to put up with this? It's turning out to be not such a Merry Christmas for him. He has become a dad again, but not surprisingly, they just cancelled the staff party here. Andy Bell, Five News.